Okay, we're going to look at a problem out of the Math is Cool book. This is bonus problem number seven, and it has to do with determining what student wore what jersey when they came to school and what their first or last names were. And we'll do this based on the clues that are given here. Now, with something like this, a chart does come helpful sometimes. Some people like other methods, but the chart kind of lets you eliminate certain people and certain jerseys, whatever. So let's, as we start with this, we'll, if it can't work, we'll put an X. If it, if we know for certain, certain that this is the final answer, we'll put a circle there. So Charles, who brought his jersey and brother, had nothing to do with the problem, obviously, arrived to school just before the students whose last name was Gomez, who arrived just before the one wearing the Rams, the Rams jersey. So uh, Charles is going to be first or second. Couldn't be third or fourth. And we'll uh, maybe get this working here. So Charles couldn't be third or fourth. He also didn't wear a Rams jersey and also wasn't named Gomez. Based on that clue there, what else do we know? Well, we know that Gomez did not wear a Rams jersey. We also know that Gomez obviously didn't come in first because Charles came in before that. We know that the Rams person didn't come in first, nor did they come in second. Yeah, maybe there's some other things that we could pick up from that, but we'll go on and maybe and come back, circle back around if we need to. Now, the girl who wore the Jets jersey, okay, the two girls are right here, Diane and, and Ellen. So the girls wore the Jets, one of the girls wore the Jets jersey. It means the boys did not wear the Jets jersey. Okay, the girl who wore the Jets jersey arrived sometime before Andy. So... The Jet Jersey girl, sometime before Andy. So obviously didn't come in last. But also, Andy arrived just before the student's last name is Farley. So the Jet girl did not come in third or fourth. And the Jet girl is not Farley. So Farley is not, not the Jet girl. And what else do we know? Well, one of the girls is not named Farley, but we know the other one might be. We know that Andy, though, is not named Farley. Of course, Andy didn't, you know, didn't have the Jets. So maybe, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe there's some other things we could could glean from that. Now, the four students, no particular order. So this time we aren't looking at order, but Diane. Hylam, Bears jersey, and third to school. So Diane is not third. Diane didn't wear a Bears jersey. Diane is not named Hylam. And we can go over here and kind of do the same thing. So Hylam wasn't third. Hylam wasn't the Rams jersey. Or the, is that what I said? Bears jersey, sorry. It wasn't the Bears jersey. Whoops. Better back that out. Okay. So it wasn't the Bears jersey. I don't know, it's not the Bears jersey. So we also know that the Bears person was not third. And as I said before, there may be other clues that, that I need to circle back. And that's fairly common as you go through and you say, oh, wait a minute, I didn't get this. So now the Eaton boy, Easton boy. So that tells us right away that neither girl is Easton. Easton boy arrived sometime before the student who wore the Titans jersey. So Easton is not the Titan. Now, 
I'm going to see what I've missed here. Okay, Charles came in before the last name of Gomez. And the man, who, the Titan, the girl who wore the Jets jersey, right before Andy. So, okay, I missed that one, and I, I missed it. Sorry about that. I missed it. Andy could not be first. And Andy also came in before before uh, a student last name of Friday, so Andy was also not fourth. Okay, so you know, I've had to circle back. Now, just before the person named Farley, so Andy and the, the Jet person was ahead of Farley, so Farley wasn't there. And again, you might have picked these up at, you know, earlier than I did on this. Okay, Charles arrived before the person who's, who, uh, his last name is Gomez. So we've, we've got that. And the Gomez person arrived before the Ram person. So Gomez is also not, not in, did not come in last. And we had the Easton boy arriving sometime before the student wore the Titan jersey. So the Easton boy was definitely not last either. Now, is there something else that I've missed? Well, the Easton boy arrived sometime before the student wore the Titan jersey. So obviously the person that was a Titan did not come in first. The Easton boy, by sometime before the student wore the Titans jersey. Okay. Is there anything else that, that I could have gotten here? Well, it's definitely possible. How about Farley? Andy arrived before the student name was Farley. And the girl who wore the jets was before Farley. So we got, we can say Farley, whoops, wrong spot. Um, so Farley didn't, it wasn't third or fourth. Now since Farley did not come in first or second, but Charlie did, then Charlie's last name cannot be Farley. And since the Jets girl was, was, it was a girl wearing the Jets uniform rather, and it said the Easton boy, so the Easton and the Jets, we can uh, put our little X there as well. Now we can start looking at some if-then statements. If something happens, then this is what would occur, and in some cases we can eliminate some ideas at that point in time. In some cases it helps us just derive our answer. But let's look if if Charlie was a Titan. Remember Charlie comes in first or second. So if he was a Titan, he would have had to come in second. But it said the Easton boy arrived sometime before the student who wore the Titans jersey. So that would have meant Andy would have had to been Easton, which would have meant Andy would have had to been first. So Charlie is definitely not a Titan. And that's a big clue because it helps us determine that Charlie has to be a bear. So we cross those out. Charlie had to be the bear. So we can go over here to the, to, uh, I guess we've got that part. So we've got that and then we start looking at to maybe some other, you know, if if then statements. Again, using that same concept, if Charlie was a bear, you know, the Charlie is a bear. If he was a Hylum, the Hylum would have to be a bear. But over here, we'd already eliminated Hylum as a bear. That was from clue number three. So Charlie cannot be a Hylum, which means we have determined. Whoops. We've determined that Charlie is Easton. So, what do we know now? We know that that Charlie is an Easton. Charlie's in first or second, and he's also 
a bear wearing a bear you know, jersey. So, Easton then is first or second, so we eliminate third there. We know that that uh, Easton is not, or Easton is a bear. Easton is the bear, so we can now cross these off. And so we're, we're getting closer. So continuing with our if-then concept, let's look at Andy. Because we know Charlie's either first or second. We know what his last name is. We know he wears a bear's uniform. What about Andy? Now, if Andy is a Highland, which would be a possibility, or either Gomez or Highland, if Andy is a Highland, then Andy would have would be would be second because he couldn't be first. He's already eliminated that. So, so he would be second or fourth. But, but he arrived. Charles arrived just before the student named Gomez. Right, right before the Rams. But that would mean if he was second, he would be either a bear or a jet. Bear or a jet or a titan. Bear or a jet or a titan. Now, is, is that possible? So as we look for more if-then things, let's look here at, at, at basically looking at clue three. And if Andy was a Hylum, if it was Andy, if it was Andy Hylum, Andy couldn't be in, come in third because Hylum wasn't didn't come in third, so Andy would have had to come in second. So Andy could have been a Hylum if he came in second. Now, what would that that do? Well, Andy was behind the girl who had the Jets uniform. And so that means the Jets uniform would have had to been, the girl wearing the Jets uniform would have had been first, which would have eliminated Charlie, because Charlie's either first or second. So it's still possible for Andy to be third, but he could not be a Hylum. So we can eliminate, for Andy, we can eliminate Hylum, which helps because by it, by eliminating Hylum, we know that he is Gomez. And again, we can cross out that complete complete row there. So we've got that that Andy is Andy Gomez. We don't know his jersey yet, but do we know any? Is there anything else that we can can glean from that? So we go back up to our clues. Charles, who arrived at school just before the student, the last name is Gomez. So Andy could have arrived third and Charles second. Andy could have arrived second, Charles first. And just before the Rams jersey. So Gomez, we already knew Gomez didn't have the Ram jersey. But what else do we know? Again, we know that that uh, Charles could have been second and Andy third, Charles first and Andy second. Well, uh, no, Andy couldn't be uh, Andy could not be second because if Andy is second, we know that uh, the Jet girl and Charles both would be vying for first. So, so we know then that Andy has to be third. Andy has to be third because both Charles and the Jets girl are coming out ahead of him. So Andy is third. So that tells us that Gomez is third. Which then tells us that Farley is fourth. Now, so little by little, we're getting to some of getting through these clues. 
we also now have that Farley is Diane. Because if that was all that was left for that particular column, and that Ellen is Highland. So, knowing that, can we eliminate any more of these? Well, looking at, we have Jets, Rams, and Titans left. We have Farley and, and Hylum in terms of what jersey they wore. And we have, of course, our, our first names. As we look at some more of these, going back to the clues, we know that Diane is named Farley. We know that the girl who wore the Jets uniform arrived before Andy, and Andy arrived before Farley. So that means that Ellen has to be the person who wore the Jets, the Jets uniform. And we cross out that, we cross out, out that. So Ellen was it wore the Jets uniform. Ellen's last name is Hylum, so Hylum wore the Jets uniform. Meaning that Gomez, since this column here, there's only one spot left in that column, Gomez had to have worn the Titan uniform and Farley wore the Rams uniform. Diane was, uh, was, uh, was Diane Farley, she wore the Rams, so you can go through all, all of this part if you need, if you want, just to kind of fill in the, in the blanks. And so now we're still trying to figure out who's first, second, and uh, fourth. Well, Andy arrived just before the students, his last name was Farley, and Diane's name was Farley, so she was right there. And now who came in first and second? Well, let's, let's look at, we know that the Bears didn't come in fourth, we know I had that. Farley was, was the Ram. And the ram came in fourth. And uh, Andy was was the Titan. He came in third. So now it's just a question of of uh, Charles and Ellen, Charlie and Ellen. You know which one of these came in first and second. So how are we going to determine that? Well, I was back up in the in the first clue. Charles arrived at school just before the student whose last name was Gomez. Go Andy Gomez came third, so Charles came in second. And uh, there is our our solution. You can see the solution down here at that point. Again, if you're interested in this book, it's available in uh, paperback or a digital form. If you go to uh, caprad.com, you can uh, have a, there's a link directly to our printer.